One of the required GCSE practicals is to prepare a salt from an insoluble oxide or carbonate. In this experiment we're going to have a look at reacting copper oxide, a base, with sulfuric acid to produce a salt, copper sulfate and water. Now we're ready to start the experiment. What we've got here is some copper oxide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out 8 grams of this copper oxide using a balance. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zero the balance and then let's put 8 grams of copper oxide in there. So there we are. That's 8.7 grams. 8 grams is about how much I need. I'd put an extra little bit in, a little dollop, because I want an excess of this. Now we need to measure out 50 centimetre cubed of sulfuric acid. And now we're going to get dangerous. I'm going to put my safety specs on. So here's our reaction mixture. We have eight and a bit grams of copper oxide and I've got 50 mils of two molar sulfuric acid and we're going to combine these two. Now with this reaction, nothing visible happens and in fact to get this reaction to work we need to heat the mixture. After heating this for a few minutes then a blue colour has started to appear and a lot of the black copper oxide has disappeared. And the solution here, we can just about see, is starting to turn a nice blue. And now we're ready to filter off the black copper oxide. Now we've managed to filter our solution, what we're going to do is put some boiling water into a beaker and we're going to place this over the top. Now what that's going to do is it's going to very gently warm the copper sulphate and will allow this water to evaporate. We don't want it to evaporate too quickly because we want to get very nice crystals of copper sulphate.
what I'm left with are some nice pretty crystals of copper sulfate.